Hello, I'm Sabine Haag, President of the Austrian Commission for UNESCO and Director of the Kunsthistorisches Museum and the associated institutions, the Weltmuseum Wien and the Theatre Museum. I'm delighted to send you greetings from Vienna, where we and music lovers the world over are celebrating International Jazz Day. We join hands with Herbie Hancock and Pom Carter, director of the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz, as we recognize the power, the positivity, and the humanity of this great art form. The message of International Jazz Day speaks to the heart of Vienna. This is who we are. Over centuries, we have dedicated ourselves to building and expanding a cultural heritage built on music. It can be heard, seen and felt in Vienna's distinguished houses of learning, such as MDW, JAM and MUK. We are all proud of the work they do. As we applaud the life-affirming values of jazz, let us remember this moment in time. We're experiencing a world filled with uncertainty and unrest, destruction that contradicts the value of creative achievement. This makes our efforts in Vienna and throughout the world all the more meaningful. We come together because jazz reflects the soul of people. It's a language that helps countries and cultures find common cause. It has the power to heal. Please accept my personal thanks as we turn our hearts to the sound of jazz and those who nurture it. From UNESCO, from Vienna, we work towards shaping the future of this great art. Jazz represents us. Happy International Jazz Day. Markus Radke, Rector of Jam Music Lab University in Vienna. Happy International Jazz Day! In recent years, the master level students at Jam have dedicated themselves to the music of Leonard Bernstein. Bernstein was a man of the world, an artist who brought people and cultures together through the power of music. His career, in fact, serves as a working model for how we approach music education. Here at Jam, and at other major houses of music learning in Vienna. In this spirit, we offer you a look at our multiculturalism and the benefits of featuring teachers and a student body drawn from around the world. During this challenging time of global aggression and unrest, we question our own responsibilities. How do we encourage healing and harmony and unity among peoples and cultures. What do we teach our students? Our belief is that music and education are vital to providing humanitarian relief. We embrace these principles, this mission. We stand committed as members of a community with a strong sense of purpose to learn, to teach, to bond through music. This is our life's work. We've just established an artistic research center dedicated to researching various forms of jazz and popular music and encouraging our students and teachers to reflect on their experiences as musicians in the light of contemporary times. I'm very pleased that we can give you an insight into a rehearsal process here today. In our daily efforts, we rely on strong educators who aim to nurture. We are delighted to have on our faculty Danny Grissett, a graduate of the Thelonious Monk School in Los Angeles, 
Danny and drummer Bito Erskine have been leading our students through a deep dive into Bernstein's music. There is a compelling paradigm here for International Jazz Day. We are studying an American composer who worked with diverse stylistic elements led by an instructor schooled in the music of Herbie Hancock interpreted by students from Vienna, Egypt, German, Slovakia and other countries. On this day, on all days, jazz brings us together. Thank you so much for staying with us today. Please welcome now Mr. Danny Grisset. Hi, my name is Danny Grisset. Uh, I teach jazz piano at Jam Music Lab. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California, a long way from home, but uh, I have been living in Vienna for probably the last eight or nine years, and it's been quite a pleasure for me to work with the young international students that Jam has and uh, bring my enthusiasm and experience um, to the, that I've had in the music to the students and try to inspire them uh, to, to be their best and see and reach their potential. Um, I've been fortunate to be a graduate of the Herbie Hancock Institute where I had great instruction and experience in spending time with great legends like Clark Terry and Jimmy Heath and Barry Harris, Kenny Barron, the list goes on and on. And um, the one thing that I really learned from all of them is that this music, you really have to, to love it and be a bit of a self-starter. And it's something that uh, I saw in them. They lived and loved this music. and. You, they, they couldn't hide their enthusiasm for it. And, and this is something that inspired me and it's something that I try to inspire my students with. Can we rehearse just the, um, the coda? Let's just take the coda. And that passing chord, make sure to keep it crisp. Ba -ba -da -da. Okay, right at the coda and then I'll cue the end. And Bertha, you can blow over that. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. No retard. No retard. Yeah, we just keep the energy. Bum, bum.
on behalf of the MDV, University of Music and Performing Arts Vienna, I send you my best regards from Vienna. My name is Ulrike Such. I'm the rector of the MDV. It's wonderful being with you here on International Jazz Day. We congratulate Herbie Hancock and Tom Carter from the Herbie Hancock Institute as we recognize the importance of jazz and music education. Vienna is known as the world's capital of music. It is famous for its classical traditions developed over centuries. Today, we embrace an art that is relatively young by comparison. Jazz was first created in the beginning of the 20th century. Since that time, it has become a universal language. It encourages cooperations among cultures, it speaks to and for the possibilities of life-affirming expression. International Jazz Day is an international day of peace too. The MDV stands for democratic values, solidarity and peaceful coexistence. We condemn all violence and aggression and we stand for an open, pluralistic society. It is more important than ever these days that we recognize, promote and celebrate the unifying power and peacemaking potential of music and today especially jazz. More than ever, we as individuals and our society are in need of this power. I wish us all a great International Jazz Day and let us never get tired to advocate for peace. Uh, this was my first time um, that I've heard Bernstein's music. And um, it's a lot of fun playing it, especially with Danny Grissett's um, arrangements. I grew up with traditional Egyptian music and uh, started playing jazz um, since uh, the age of 20, 22. So this is a very nice experience actually for me to play these uh, wonderful arrangements uh, by Danny. But this uh, with, the, with the jazz combo, it gave me uh, uh, a new vibe of it. How does it feel to play Bernstein's music in a jazz context? I, I think it's really a special experience, a great experience. Also because we had a special um, instrumentation. I love to play um, with saxophone and harmonica together and the sound, they are great, it is a great sound color. No, I've never heard Liam Bernstein and um, this is actually the first time I play his, his compositions and it's very beautiful. This is also a nice experience because um, taking this kind of music, like this, this um, Broadway music, and putting it, it in a jazz context is where jazz or playing standards comes from. And I think this is a great opportunity for students. So let's go to the solo section. The head is sounding really good. Um, let's do, let's have the first solo be you, Robert, tenor solo. So you have the solo break, and then we'll go with you, Berthel, Cozy and then guitar solo from um, Andreas, and then I'll take the last one. After solos, we go back to the very top, DC. One, two, three. <laughs> One second, one second. Super important, this, this point. So the transition from that solo break to letter C when the solo start, time has to feel exactly the same. So uh, a couple things. Let's, let's agree to the two beat feel at letter A, uh, especially when you come back, um, come back from da 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 D, uh, do, D, uh, do, D, and then we, we'll stay in two beat there. And the other thing is uh, keep the momentum. I felt like it was slowing down a bit. And last thing is, uh, yeah, I love at 35, how you fill, filling up the space in between, between those hits is perfect. One, two. 
One, two, three, four.